ho ho and happy halloween <laughs> today we're gonna be uh carving a pumpkin and more specifically we're gonna be carving my uh face onto this pumpkin right here um there's a lot of things i want to say right off the bat one this will be my third anniversary of carving my face onto a pumpkin that's right i've been doing this since 2021 and they were fun i was like wait i was having fun and then i did do it last year 2023 because i went to art school and i was so overwhelmed with anything blah blah blah, blah. but i said let's bring it back this year <laughs> um i don't have any pumpkin tools uh pumpkin carving tools i'm doing this inside my dorm here at art school probably not the best uh setting at all um like at all but it's okay look i have this plastic bag that i put on my table so all i really actually have okay so oh i put it over here all i have is this exacto knife and oh hold on I also have some spoons and um, some chipotle knives. This can cut. Yeah, this cuts. Huh? Um, also, there's a window right in front of me and everybody, like everybody outside can see me. This pumpkin is so heavy. And also I think it's rotting. So that's gonna be a fun little surprise for us. a fun little surprise um kind of like you know lucky blocks minecraft to see whether we get a nice pumpkin or just a completely rotten pumpkin inside and the reason i think it's rotting is because there's like some stuff under that that when i was like carrying it up the hill it um left some orange liquid stains on my shirt so now i'm thinking it might be open and you may be wondering where did i get this pumpkin well my professor uh, had gotten us pumpkins for the still lives we've been painting so they're um, a couple weeks old but i think it should be fine and so let's begin and obviously the first step is to carve out all the goop inside so i'm going to use a chipotle knife for that let's hope my phone doesn't fall out of the window let's go ahead and get started with the first incision this is great this is a great idea i'm mm, just gonna make a small incision here just to get us started this also has a very fragrant smell I, sometimes it smells like a little bit like perfume and then other times it's kind of like a fun little rotten smell oh my god it's leaking a lot of water this is a bad idea i think it's a bad idea, right? <laughs> oh, Olivia Rodrigo. The hell is this doo doo? Well, it's like dusting up. Okay, so I cut it, but I can't get it out. It doesn't want to come out. Oh my god. This whole time, one, I had a freaking box cutter knife, and I also had a saw. This whole time I could have been like, easy freaking peasy. Maybe I shouldn't be showing that, but. So I got this out. Turns out it was just connected to the whole pumpkin. I didn't cut deep enough or something. I also broke the blade that I was using. Look how full this freaking pumpkin is. I don't want to get in there. <laughs> I really need, I need to wash my hands. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Really a horrifying experience. I don't ever remember it being this bad, Ugh, but it's a little bit lighter 
but it's nice and carved out. I found a photo. Does it look like me? That's the photo that we're gonna be using. Just because for some reason the past two times I've done this, I've also ugh, done this with me in a serious face. So I thought it was only fitting. Um, I'm really actually like nervous about this. Like I really think it's gonna turn out bad. My beautiful reference, I'm gonna put it over there. Ah! I know the last two times I've done this, I like somehow transferred this image on, but I'm gonna try and freehand it. And then we can see if um, a year of art school has helped with my freehanding skills. Up here, a little bit like this. So I actually was gonna go to this thing today, like a, a lecture slash talk. I think something about the Whitney Biennial or something. I don't actually really know what that is. But then I was like, wait, I kind of want to carve a pumpkin. So Whitney Biennial curation talk or carving my face onto a pumpkin and that was the dilemma of course quite the dilemma i went to dinner and i said okay i have to decide now so i started walking out the door and just somehow my feet started taking me back to my beautiful dorm and i skipped the whole event i just skipped it yeah so this is turning out pretty horrible we're gonna have to do a time lapse <laughs> So this is what we got. <laughs> it's not 100% accurate, but also like, it's like the pumpkin's curved, it's curvaceous. We're just gonna go with it anyways, because who cares? Who cares? I don't have like any tools for this besides the exacto knife, so I'm just gonna, where'd it go? Where'd it go, seriously? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start like carving out like, kind of like this for example like for the darkest values like i'm just gonna not carve that yeah yeah okay just the norm here it's just the norm yeah i'm really struggling guys i don't know if you can tell but let's speed thing hey <laughs> let's speed things up a little bit So I actually just realized that a smart idea, like an idea that a smart person would come up with is to carve this while the light is inside so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Because right now it looks like a freaking, freaking mess. Okay, so just as expected, looks absolutely horrendous. This is how I'm gonna be working from now on. Also, it's like spooky, like spooky vibes, like, okay. But this looks like she unfortunately this sucks i don't know what happened with this eye the lips everything about it um really disturbing me but i actually was watching my old video because i was wondering how the hell was i doing this i also used acrylic paint like black acrylic paint but i don't have any which is really surprising because i'm at an art school but but i do have this sharpie uh, i'm gonna draw on top of it a little bit <laughs> and I think I'm gonna ruin the sharpie but let's just see because I think it'll make a I think I can salvage this just a little because I just don't know where I went wrong <laughs> I feel like look the eye already looks so much better obviously because I'm using a sharpie I have an ink pen sure this is gonna go great whoa it kind of does work beautifully
after blood no no blood <laughs> nothing happened after sweat and tears and actually there were no tears it was just sweat it's really hot in here i turned off the fan um after all of after sweat we finished to be fair i think i could have kept going um i think i ruined all the tools that i use i think i ruined the exacto knife i ruined the blade i ruined the pen i ruined the but it's all worth it <laughs> when you see this oh yeah you guys are gonna be so impressed damn it i just can't hold this upright so yeah it actually turned out a little bit better once I drew on it. <laughs> I don't- I'm gonna like throw this away. Thanks for watching y'all. Happy Halloween.